Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am sharing a little DIY that I did on a fun task lamp. And I'm gonna show you guys how I added a little bit more character and changed the look up a little bit by using a special product. As always, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to leave us a comment. We love hearing from you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. So the backstory on this lamp is pretty basic. I popped into Goodwill as I always do just to see if they have anything interesting in there. And to my surprise, I love these task lamps. I have seen these before. However, they can be pretty pricey. Crate and Barrel, places like Lamps Plus, they have all of these different antique slash modern style looking lamps. The thing I love about these lamps is that they have these clean and modern lines, but the style of them is kind of old, if that makes sense. Also, depending on the finish, they can also look kind of patinaed or antiqued. And that's really what interests me is when they have that kind of brushed or antiqued look. I think they look really cute. So of course, when I found the one at Goodwill for $6.99, I had to pick it up. I just couldn't leave it there. So I have heard of this product called Rub and Buff. You can find it at Hobby Lobby, Amazon. I will link it below. Other places like Michaels, I believe have it. So I wanted to try it. You can put it on like metals, um, anything that you really wanna like antique or kind of refinish or even something that you just wanna tweak the color a little bit or add a little bit more character to something like this lamp. So this was like super bright brass and it's cute, I like it, but it's just a little bit too brassy for me. So I wanted to kind of tone down that brass and make it look a little bit more antiqued. Plus it had some little blemishes on there that I wanted to try and hide a little bit of too. I thought this lamp was a great deal for $6.99. It has a little swivel thing. It does work. It has a very low light, but it's perfect for like a little reading corner or something like that. But this little swivel thing is my most favorite part. So you just turn the little knob and that allows it to go higher or lower depending on where you want it. So to start on this lamp, I took a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, which has gotten some use already, and I just cleaned up the inside of that little lampshade, I guess you want to call it. Um, just cleaned that up. It was kind of like an off-white on the inside, and it was very dirty, so I wanted to clean that up. Next, I knew that I wanted to keep that inside white. I'm not sure what the heat would do if I... Um, sprayed that inside so I'm just gonna keep it white and mask it off so that no paint gets inside there while I'm spraying this now so I don't want you guys to freak out because I am gonna go ahead and spray paint this thing black first but then I'm gonna go back over it with the rub and buff in gold so I'm gonna try and keep that gold look but don't freak out as always, I use my Rust-Oleum Flat Black in the Ultra Cover. This stuff works the best. So I'm gonna give it just a really quick coat of this black. I want the black to kind of shine through underneath, which I feel like it will give it that kind of patinaed, antiqued look with the gold that I am looking for. Now that it has gotten a little colder where we live, it is a little bit more difficult to spray, so it takes a little bit longer to dry. You have to be careful not to overdo it, especially in the cold, because you will get drips. But in this case, it, everything worked out and it looks pretty good. So for the rub and buff, I am just taking a little bit of that rub and buff and putting it on like a piece of cardboard using an old makeup brush to brush it on and I'm not really brushing it in like painting type motions more of like a sponge and then kind of rubbing it out so I'm not really using it like a paintbrush if that makes sense. This product is really neat to use because you can really layer it on the more um, you know gold you want it or whatever color you're using you just really layer it on if you want more of that color or less obviously you would put less so it is a really neat product to work with it dries pretty fast and I was actually really impressed with this product the technique that I kind of used was like to go and dab it on at first and then go and rub it out 
if it needed more product I would just add more it was very very simple some stuff was kind of balling up and rolling off a little bit I'm not sure if that was from my makeup brush or from the product but it was not a problem at all the color that I used for this lamp was antique gold and a little goes a long way I didn't even use a whole tube on this one thing I was really happy that I did do was paint it black first. I feel like the black underneath really gives it kind of that base to layer on the gold and then you have that really pretty gold that really, to me, does look like an aged piece. This product is really, really cool. I highly recommend it. And once the lamp was completely dry, it does not take long at all. I was able to find a place for it in the living room, right in that little corner, kind of by the fireplace. It is the perfect little spot for a lamp right there. I love having this little lamp on, especially when we're like watching a movie with the fire going. It puts off like the prettiest little light and it's not overbearing. It's just the perfect amount of light. So it fit perfect in our living room. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that this inspired you or helped you in any way to try a new DIY. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave us a comment below, and thank you guys again for watching. We will catch you next time.